what it do? What's up, Kenna? Hey, 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 hey. What's up, Papa Lock and Curly Crew? Welcome back to another video. It's your good sis, Curly Chris, and y'all, I am so excited for today's video because we are about to do a complete hair reboot wash day routine and i'm using natural products natural ingredients for majority of this routine also things i have never used on my hair before so sis not tell you this is the wash day reboot to tune into this is it right here okay this wash day routine is going to be for someone if you i feel like all of us who have dry dry hair or just not finished like protective styling or is about to protective style now my curls right now are very very dry as y'all girl when i tell you dry i mean saharan desert do y'all see this puff on the top of my head baby she is looking like cloth. She is so matted and dry, okay? Now, when I say natural, I'm so excited because I'm going to be using this Sahel Cosmetics Ambunu um, made in Chad, Africa. So this is my first time ever trying their products. I did have one of their other products. I believe it was like a, a clay or something like that, but I never got around to trying it. So this is my first time trying this. and. I literally pulled this off of my shelves because they sent this to me a while back, but I just never got around to actually using it. And you guys know I'm not really a DIY type of girl, but my curls really do need a good reboot. And I really wanted to use something new that I feel like will deeply cleanse my curls, but I didn't want to do the Indian clay mask. And I also did not have it on hand. So I remembered I had this in my stash. And what this is supposed to do is it's an African natural plant that cleans the hair with the saponin it contains, which girl, I don't even know what that means. And Bundu instantly detangles the hair and leaves it super soft, shiny, and moisturized. So listen, <laughs> we're going back to the roots in today's video, okay? The directions on this is to put 500 milliliters of hot water, which is 0.5 liters. <laughs> Build nice science guy, okay. And what I have right here is my U, my Eula, wait, Eula Love. It's a kettle basically, but I have it plugged up, so I have water in here already. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this on. Oh, wait, like that. I'm gonna put it on this little pedestal and it's going to heat up over here. So while that's heating up, we're gonna be getting this over here together. So the, if by the way, if you've used any type of Sahel Cosmetics, which is basically the Chadian Beauty Secrets Company, where the people in Chad, they have that long, long beauty, wait. Y'all hear her? <laughs> she don't play no game. So the first step to this is to add five tablespoons of the Ambunu. So first, open it up. Yeah, it smells like tea. It smells like, like a green tea. Girl, I got the measuring spoons and everything. Don't don't play with her, okay? So this is what it looks like. It literally looks like a type of like weed. Not smoking weed, girl, but like weed. Well, it looks like smoking weed too, actually. But <laughs> um, it says to add five of these. That seems like it's a lot, but I'm gonna just do what the directions say. I really feel like I'm Sheree right now. Like, y'all know Sheree Del so? Sheree, girl, if you watching this, <laughs> I'm on my DIY stuff, okay? So, girl, that's a lot of Mbunu I put in that bag. I feel like I put too much, y'all. Like, I don't feel like you need... So the videos that I watch, they use one tablespoon, and I'm using five. I'm gonna split this in half, because I feel like that's just too much. And if this stuff is actually good... Girl, y'all, why is there a piece of hair in my Mbunu? Y'all, there is a piece of hair, and that is not my hair. Okay, that's a, that's a little bit too organic for me. I removed a little bit of it out of here, and now my water is nice and ready, y'all. She be hot and ready. Y'all see that smoke? So I'm going to take off this little spout. So I'm going to just go ahead and pour. Ooh, y'all, I feel like I'm doing something. I ain't going to tell you no lie. Ooh, she be hot and ready. Okay, I need to pour more water. Y'all see that steam, baby? Like, this is not playing no games with y'all, okay? And it's said to leave this 
sitting for 10 minutes. Now, while that is sitting, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all my hair and prepare yourself, sis, okay? Y'all. Oh my God. This is my hair after having that wig on for like a month, baby. Y'all, my hair itches so bad. It is so dirty. It's literally like filthy. It stings. It smells like mold in my opinion. Like my hair smells so bad. It's been 10 minutes now, 15 minutes, no, like around, yeah, 10 minutes. Um, and this is what the mixture is looking like. As far as the consistency, I don't know if it's as thick as it's supposed to be. Like it actually does have a little bit of a, you know, a little drip drip to it, like a nice slimy consistency. Because the videos that I saw online, the consistency was most definitely more slimy. So I'm gonna go drain it real quick and then we gonna see what we are working with. Okay, y'all, don't judge me, but I just gotta make it do what it got what it do right now because I only have an op that option. So I'm using <laughs> to drain this. I'm gonna use some of these some of my underwear. These are like some Savage X underwear, but I just I don't be wearing these a lot, and I mean I just wash them, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna put this on top of this bowl i mean this cup that i have right here i'm gonna put a little scrunchie around it <laughs> i'm literally using my underwear wow and then i'm going to pour the mixture into here and hopefully this works oh it's working oh shoot it's wasting y'all it's working better than the pantyhose baby <laughs> And this is what the mixture looks like, so uh, so you guys can really see what the or like how so you guys can really see all the herbs that are in there. So I think what I need to do is, oh my gosh, is squeeze this. Oh my god, y'all, what did I just do? No, it all just fell in there. This is what I'm left with. So this is going to be the Mbunu that I'm gonna be putting in my hair. But y'all, it's so crazy how this is actually slimy. All right, I came up a little closer. Now we have our Mbunu. Now let's get to applying. So I'm gonna, oh my God, look at that. Well, y'all can't even see. The texture is so, that is so cool. I'm gonna pour it in my hand first and then put it on my hair. And this is supposed to have crazy slip and you do apply it on dry hair. And it's supposed to help with the detangling process. And it's supposed to be a shampoo as well. Girl, y'all see how slippery? <laughs> Baby, it's not lying about the slip, okay? Wow. It does detangle like crazy. Wow, this is wild, y'all. I am like thoroughly impressed. Like I'm impressed, all from some herbs. The hair is coming out, y'all. The hair is coming out, which is expected. Wow. That, y'all, look at this. That is crazy. Dang, I'm shook. So let me give you guys my review of the Mbunu. So I really, really love using this product. So for one, the slip is really, really good. As, on a scale of one to 10, I would give the slip like an eight. 
um it does have bomb detangling properties though like it's not as slippery as aloe vera but the detangling properties go crazy okay um also i want to say as far as the shampoo cleansing agent part of this that part i just don't really feel like it's that bomb um it doesn't really it doesn't sudsy up at all as you guys can see in this clip it kind of did get a little bit sudsy at my root once i you know massage it in but i don't feel like my hair is clean after using this whatsoever like it doesn't give me a clean feeling so i would give that on a scale of one to ten like a one um but y'all these detangling properties baby this insists okay this stuff detangle look at how detangle my curls i ended up going in with the brush on the second half part of my head because i was like wait if it's detangling this good why don't i just go ahead and detangle with my um brush to see what kind of results i get and baby am i so happy i did that y'all look at are you serious right now i was like I was literally shook so I did go through the rest of my head and detangle that as well but watch my curls y'all look at my curls the shine the moisture was there okay so I'm finished with my hair with the using the Ambunu product and I actually have a good bit of it left still so I have all of this left in here and then I still have this one is filled about maybe like right here so I could have most definitely used half of this recipe for my whole head which is a pretty good amount um so now I'm gonna go and get in the shower but I'm so happy I was able to detangle my hair with the brush I went back through my entire head and detangle with the brush so that way it's much easier for me to shampoo my hair and everything so they so although this is supposed to be a cleanser for the hair I don't feel like my hair is cleansed or anything so I'm going to go in with a shampoo I kind of just use this as a detangler and like kind of a moisturizer I guess you can say um but now I'm going to go in with the mega greens butter shampoo by Soltanicals and then for my deep conditioner I'm going to be using the Moisture Miracle Moroccan Clay and Shea Butter Heat Activated Mask by African Pride. So this is gonna be my lineup for wash day, so let's go ahead and get into it, girl. Now onto the cleansing part of this wash day. So the Sultanical Shampoo has bentonite, rosemary, and superfoods in this shampoo. So those are bomb, bomb ingredients and also natural ingredients. And Sultanicals is a black owned business, by the way, in case you do not know. Um, they have been around for a while and they are known for their bomb ingredients and products. One thing I would say about the shampoo was at first when I used it, I didn't really see where it was a shampoo at. It kind of felt more like a conditioner, but I just had to add more water. Water, sis and once I added my water I was like oh that makes way more sense and I started to see the suds because whenever I'm using the shampoo I wanted to sudsy up on my hair also my curls were very very like weighed down with just dirt so that could have also been a reason why I wasn't really seeing the sudsy you know the shampoo result that I wanted so quickly but as y'all can see right here when I put water to my hair okay yes it's a shampoo like immediately became a shampoo so i really did like this shampoo um my curls did feel a little dry afterwards not too too soft but i mean i feel like it most definitely got the job done um they weren't stripped but they were they weren't as soft either so this clay mask by african pride y'all took me by surprise it's kind of too bright you can't really see but it is most definitely a thick texture and it's like a light pink color so it's more than likely going to be rose clay in this mask but y'all the consistency of it is so so thick and it's not really creamy it just feels like a clay mask so it kind of felt very very thick on the curls um but the direction said to apply heat so i most definitely did that and that's when i saw the real effect of this mask so i sat underneath my hood dryer for 30 minutes and y'all the results right here is really okay i was like wow okay now i understand this mask because before i was like where's the moisture where's the definition it's not giving but after i applied heat do y'all see my curls sis okay the curls are pop up lock in like wow super juicy and my hair literally absorbed this mask right on up so if you are using this make sure to add heat to your hair to get the full benefits like look at my curls frizz wear let me know do you see it 
I don't see it. I see definition, okay? Like, shook is an understatement. Like, y'all, look at how flat my curls are laying. I'm sorry, what? Is this my head? Is this my head? Like, the entire three-step process of this wash day, baby, is giving success. It's giving do it again. It's giving, wow, it came and it did what needed to be done. <laughs> And one last tip, since this is a thick clay mask, make sure that you are rinsing in the inside of your hair. Don't just rinse the perimeter, I mean the surface, because it does attach to the scalp. So make sure you are rinsing your hair really, really well. Okay, y'all, so here is what my curls look like after I rinse out that mask. And baby, do we see what the curls are giving? The curls are giving lust, moisture, shine, definition, bounce. Ooh, okay. My hair most definitely, y'all, like all those aside, my hair needed this reboot so bad. I feel like I still have some, that's from the shower cap. But anyway, my hair needed this reboot so bad, y'all. Like, I'm so happy I took the time out to do this to my curls because my curls, after being in that wig for so long, it just needed to be refreshed, revived, moisturized. So if you do have dry natural hair, trust me sis, I highly recommend that you try out this routine. If your hair is needing some TLC, if you just finished, you know, braids, a wig, locks, whatever the deal may be, sis, check out this routine. Everything that I used was bomb. Um, I did get my full review in the overview for the voiceover that I gave you guys while I was using each product. But nonetheless, I overall love, love, love this routine. And it's the new one for me. Like, these are all products that I never used before. So, it's lit over here, okay? So, let me know in the comments down below what y'all think about my results. Also, I want y'all to guess in the comments what style I'm about to do on my hair next. And that will be the next video that you guys see. So comment that down below and also uh, I always get caught up. Also subscribe if you are new to your girl's channel. I would love to have you here. And without further ado, I'm gonna see y'all in my next video. I'm going to finish my shower. And no, you can't come. <laughs> Peace.